In this video, I'll discuss my decision on getting a Husqvarna 128LD over the 525L and over the Craftsman WS2200. I'll also show gassing the trimmer up, the first start, and the first time using it. And also, if you want to skip ahead, timestamps are in the description. And please, if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. So I originally went to Lowe's to get the 525. I kind of like the idea of the 128 because you could get attachments, but the Husqvarna attachments were so expensive, I didn't like that idea. I then realized the Craftsman WS2200 had very affordable attachments, about the half the price of the Husqvarna. So I almost talked myself into getting that one. But after I played around with the Craftsman, it was just very cheap. The handle was cheap. It was hard to get the head off. Um, you know, the Husqvarna's were, you know, felt like a good tool and you could get the head off fairly easy. Um, and then while standing in the aisle, I googled if you could use the Craftsman attachments on the 128. And sure enough, you could. And I confirmed that with the Lowe's employee. He said, yeah, you can do that. So my mind was kind of made up at that point. I'm going with the 128 and I want to get the Craftsman attachments whenever I need them. And as you can see here, they're only $109 a piece. And here's my old trimmer. Uh, it's a Walmart brand. I've had that thing for 15 years. It still runs, but it's going to be my backup now. And then here's the new 128. I'm going to do a quick unboxing to show you what all you get with it. And then we're going to get into uh, starting this thing up. So on the box that we just opened, there is a warranty statement that says if you buy this fuel with the weed eater, that it will extend your warranty from the two years that it normally comes with to five years. So the fuel wasn't that expensive, maybe 25 bucks or so. So I went ahead and got that, um, and then I'm going to have to figure out the steps to actually um, get the warranty, but uh, I'll show that in another video if you want. And then this here is one thing that I didn't like. Um, they said that they put the gas cap in the box to keep people from stealing it, but uh, I was kind of worried about debris and debris and stuff getting in there because I had a hole in the back of my truck and um, you know, it's kind of been sitting on the ground. It's been hanging on the shelf and lows. So I was a little bit worried about that, but I couldn't, couldn't tell that there was anything in there. And now it's time to put a little bit of gas in this thing. I try to be as careful as possible, but I made a little bit of a mess. Right here, as I was putting the gas cap back on, I accidentally cross-threaded it. Uh, I figured that out later when I was leaking gas everywhere. And so this is the first time trying to start this trimmer. Thankfully, the instructions are printed right there for you to see. I want to take the head off to see how much line was in there. I did buy some new line, but if there's some in here, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And there is.
honey car gas coming out of that bitch. So I'm here at a family member's house and I just got done mowing and it's time to put this weed eater to the test. It will be the first yard I've done with the weed eater so I'm excited to see how it works. And um, I'm going to speed it up in some slow spots and hope you enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 